So which fraction here is greater? One and one fourth or one and one eighth? How do you figure that out? So first off, we have one here and one here. That's the same. Let's just ignore that. Let's focus on the one fourth and the one eighth. And if we can get the same denominator, right now we have eight and four, but if that's the same, we can just compare the numerators and we'll know whether one and one fourth is greater than, equal to, or less than one and one eighth. Why don't we do this? Why don't we multiply four times two? Because four times two is eight. Down here, we already have eight. So we're just gonna call this one eighth. And since we multiplied the denominator by two, let's multiply the numerator by two. Two over two is one. So we haven't changed the value. We're multiplying by one, just the way it's written. One times two is two. Two eighths, that's equivalent to one fourth. They have the same value. Now we have the same denominators. We can just compare these numerators and we'll know which is larger. So two is greater than one. So two eighths, that's gonna be larger than one eighths. And two eighths and one fourth are the same. One fourth is larger than one eighth. And then we know that one and one fourth will be larger than one and one eighth. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.